I just finished editing a video and I just heard someone downstairs. It's 3 a.m. and I don't know who is it. And I know I just I just want to check who that is. Sing gana. Oh, okay. Ano train? Tara. 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 Si Jolo pala. Akala ko sino eh. I think this is a good opportunity for me to train early in the morning. Stranjo. It's 3 a.m. and it's a very good way to start our day. Uh, we'll have enough time for us to do what we have to do and this is just a good start. Bulat ako eh. Kala ko may nakakulay po lang na ano, pupunta ka na ako sa CR. <laughs> One of the best places is an empty gym where you can do anything you want. Uh, like this space, we're gonna use it for his uh, basketball skills training. And we cannot do this if there are already plenty of people. If we'll start working out 7 a.m., 8 a.m. So this is the best time for us to maximize the space that we have. And then after that, uh, we can uh, have upper body workout. I'm still working on his explosiveness and the shiftiness uh, when it comes to the game because I don't want him to be limited every time he plays. So my goal is for him to be able to execute whatever the situation is. And for some of you who are um, wondering why we're still working on footwork and ball handling, it's because I don't want to give him lots of uh, assignments, homeworks, and lots of programs 
that we're gonna do over time. Because if if that happens after we train, uh, he's not gonna he's not gonna remember anything. It's like I give him lots of things, and there's no specific topic. So uh, for how many months? This is our topic, and then after this, we are gonna find a way to convert it into game-like movement situations and um, connect it to different kinds of finishing moves, shooting, and everything. But first, I'm gonna have to work on his shiftiness and his explosiveness. I launched so out. I just saw that thing out. Good job, 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 good job.